Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I'm very, very emotional and joyful that today Nicolas recognizes as the winner for the regional Nansen. And I would like to express my congratulations to you, Nicola, but also congratulations to the Serbian authorities, to the civil society that are also colleagues that we work together here, all the, the, the international community, the UN. I feel that together, every day, we, we make a difference. If you get this moment, if you get this personal connection with the people who lost everything, who speak with you, they don't know who you are. Uh, this, uh, how do you call this? Exchange of something, of energy, of gratitude, of this feeling of humanity. Uh, that's an unbelievable feeling and this is how it all started. So, very soon after I insisted to become a part of a legal team of the place where I used to work. Uh, today, as we speak, uh, dozens and dozens of Afghanis are stuck uh, uh, in no man's land between Poland and Belarusia. <clears throat> so when I speak about the treatment of refugees at the borders, I'm talking about the trend and the, the period of, let's say, history of refugee law that we have right, right now in Europe, where the first step, which is conditio sine qua non to access protection, to access asylum procedure, to access inclusion, is to access territory to say, hello, Mr. Police, Border Police Officer, I'm here, I'm from Afghanistan, I want to access my rights. But if you cut there, everything else doesn't, it doesn't make any more sense. If we lose the fight for the legacy of the Refugee Convention, which was designed for us, Europeans, in the Second World War, what's going to happen next? Because, you know, there is this old saying, everybody can, become, can come to the situation to become a refugee. Will these people who think that these people are dangerous, refugees, asylum seekers, migrants, how would they feel if they know that their wives and children are standing before the barbed wire fence, where there are border police officers with sticks, with pepper spray, with dogs, who are ready to, be, to beat them up and send them back to the place where there is danger, where there is no safety. So this is like, it's, it, in the end, it's very simple. Just try to put yourself in this kind of situation.